the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. But the word of the Lord came to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake there was fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. A voice said to him, Elijah, why are you here? He replied, I have been most zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts. But the Israelites have forsaken your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to the sword. I alone am left, and they seek to take my life. The Lord said to him, Go, take the road back to the desert near Damascus. When you arrive, you shall anoint Hazel as king of Aram. Then you shall anoint Jehu, son of Nishi, as king of Israel, and Elisha, son of Saphat, of abel Maloha, as prophet to succeed you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I long to see your face, O Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks. You my glance seeks. I long, I long to, to see, see your, your face, face, O Lord. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. I, I long, long to see your face, face, O Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, Everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife 
must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our psalm response today, which comes to us from Psalm 27, we hear the prayer of one who earnestly searches for God. I long to see your face, O Lord. The quest of this psalm is one that perhaps resonates with all of us, because all of us, to varying degrees, are searchers. Our ultimate search is for God, the source of our very existence and our ultimate destiny. St. Augustine echoes the longing of this prayer when he says, You have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. It is the searcher in us that makes us travelers on a journey toward God. Elijah the prophet was that kind of searcher when he embarked on his journey to the mountain of God. In a cave on that mountain, he encountered God in a quiet way, in a sound of sheer silence. Silence is not easy to find in our busy and often noisy lives, but that is where the Lord is best heard. We often have to seek such silence in order to find it. To seek silence is, in a very real way, to seek the Lord, because it is where we become most aware of the Lord's presence. As a people of faith, trusting in God's goodness, love, and compassion, we now turn to him with these prayers for ourselves, for our church, and for the whole world. That the virtues of purity and chastity may be respected and upheld in our society, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people preparing for marriage may give the fullest attention to their Christian responsibilities in this lifelong commitment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who instruct others in the ways of Christian love and marriage, and who help unhappy couples and families, may do so with enthusiasm and success. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That lives strengthened by the Gospels and nourished by the sacraments and prayer may keep us faithful to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those whose jobs put them on the front line with the battle of the pandemic, that they may be kept safe and healthy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and gone before us marked with the sign of faith. In a special way today, we remember Laura Sipek, for whom this Mass is offered, and all those who have died as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all of our homebound parishioners, for those who are in a nursing home or hospital, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear these prayers and to answer them according to your holy will, for we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all, his holy church. 
Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mitchell, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.